What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got an OP matchup for you here with Stars and Klaus versus Eve Maxi and Exorcist. Also, I have a brand new YouTube Shorts channel right here. Link in the description. Go check it out. And let's jump right into the action today here in the Duo Master Series Tournament Show Match. First attack is going to be Exorcist coming in on Stars' base with 14 healers. What? One Dragon Rider, one Headhunter. What is he doing? Queen starting here on the top side of the base. We're going to wall break her in over at 1030. One minion to funnel. That's all we need. We only have one Headhunter. How many healers did he use? Oh, he's starting a Grand Warden walk on the right side of the base. Going to be busy multitasking here. Headhunter with the Rage Bill. Going to be able to help out this Queen. Take out the enemy King. Ooh, Log Launcher as well. She's still in the Rage. She takes out the enemy Queen. The plan is going to plan thus far. The little owl that can, cannot survive today. Down he goes to the air defense. Rip. <gasps> Queen! Oh, no. That's a yikers, dude. I think she was supposed to stay inside the base. I, I've been wrong before, but I think this might be a rip. Rage up the queen. She's going to go in. We, luckily, we had an extra wall breaker. It was probably meant for the king, though. Log launcher did take out the inferno tower, at least. Okie dokie. Warden should eventually get the scatter. We got, was it just a partial CC pool? Queen kills the headhunter. We had more healers in the log launcher. We're going to drop more healers on the Grand Warden. He's getting kind of clapped over there on the right side of the base. RC charge is in on the top. I'm surprised he's not raging the Warden. That Skelly Trap's being super annoying. There goes the rage for the Warden. Bro, this might be the best one star you've ever seen. Uh-oh. King's going to go beat on a wall. RC on the top side is going to have to pop her ability. We still got a ton of spells to utilize. Dragon Rider on the bottom side to help keep the queen alive. We did rage up the warden. He snipes the scatter shot. He's trying to snipe the royal champion. Switches targets to the archer tower. King pops his ability. Yak gets through the wall. Down goes the enemy royal champion. Here comes the lava dog from the CC. Ooh, this is getting spicy now. We need, we need the queen to go inside. The log launcher kind of gave her access to the town hall. As long as she paths there. We're going to poison up the lava pups. That might have been too early on the invis for the queen. I think it was too early. He needed to wait until the expo is going down. Oh, was it too early again? No, no. <gasps> oh, okay. The first one was swag, but the second one works. Queen will get the town hall. Can he still get the three star? He's got a minion on the top side. 32 seconds to go. The town hall drops. RC is still alive. Queen has her ability to help out a little bit with timing, but she's going to step inside the giga juice of death. That's going to stall her up a little bit. Slows her down quite a bit. If anything, this might be a time fail. We need the healers to stay on the RC. Please get off the Grand Warden. Come on, healers. Don't be dummies. Pop the queen ability, bro. Yeah. Down goes the storage. Oof, all the archers died to giant bombs. RC, can you stay alive to help with cleanup? Archer might have enough time to get the army camp. RC? No. Two. One. All oh, the 99% from Exocyst to kick things off in this match. The man, the myth, the legend Klaus himself is in with 17 sneaky goblins, a Lalo with only 18 loons, and six bat spells against Maxi's base. Okie dokie. He's doing a little funneling. Pulls a skelly trap. Oh, oh, wait, what the? Yo, Klaus? Early blimp? Warden ability? Hello? Is that just meant for the core? Yeah? It's a Yeti bomb? Freeze the scatter? Bro, the Lalo first? Then the Sui? What the heck is he doing? There's a tornado trap. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. How far does the Lalo get? He already used the Warden and everything. I am Confucian. He's got so many sneakies. Yo, what the? Ace the sneakies on the bottom side of the base. Warden's trying his best to clan clash those super minions, but he himself goes from six feet above ground to six feet under. We'll see you later, dude. Ace more sneakies in for the gold storage. Do they get it? Yes, they do. Ace another test sneaky. Pull the traps. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Hurry, hurry. We got an invis. We sure do. Drop the invis. Down goes the town hall. You bet your buttons it goes down. King and queen on the top side of the base. We still got those super minions to worry about, but he's got a poison spell. Okay. Drop the poison right there. Queen should easily deal with those. King and queen are going to wrap around the top side of the base. The only thing that's kind of sketchy about the Sui is the Eagle's Awake. 
Luckily, it's hitting his king and not his queen. Queen? Brother! Oh my gosh, he borrowed Bernal's queen for this match. <laughs> oh, great. She needs to just walk around. Instead, she's doing that. Uh, we're gonna Sui with the wall breaker over here. King's gonna pop his ability with a headhunter. They're gonna hopefully kill the enemy king. Eagle's gonna stay up. Queen's being a goofy goober. We don't have any. Oh, we do have another wall breaker. Nice. Queen's gonna have access to the eagle artillery compartment. Royal champions in from the right side of the base. Minion at three o'clock. We've only got a minute left now. He brought a golem, but he didn't use it. It's gonna have to go in front of the royal champion, but he already used her. The golem is to tank for the wizards. I mean for the bats. But it doesn't go to the wizard tower like he expected. Rip. That's a swag golem. Uh-oh. And then he tries to send balloons to the wizard tower. Oh, my. Oh, cl clouds. Oh. Oh. The haste. The invis. Down goes the wizard tower. Bat bomb the scatter. We got one freeze and only one. He's going to freeze the wizard tower. Can we get the b bats to take it out in time? Down goes the builder hut. And no, they path away. Oh my gosh, this one wizard tower is going to save the base. Rip. Rip. Nice try, Klaus. That was uh, creative. It almost worked, but not quite. It's going to fall short here against Maxi's base. OP try from Klaus, though. That was that was neat. Doing the Lalo first. Then the, then the town hall dive with the sneakies. Then the Sui. Then the bats. It was like a four-stage attack, not even a three-stage. Nice try from Klaus, but it's going to fall short at 86%. An advantage, slight advantage, only by percent after the first round of attacks to Tribe Gaming. Maxi is in with the next attack against Stars' base. Coming in with Queen Charge, 50 minions. What? <laughs> oh my gosh. This reminds me of like Town Hall 9 days. Early haste on the top side of the base. Oh, for sneakies. Bro, again, everybody's hasting sneakies today. Oh my goodness. Tell me we're going to be able to get them in toward the town hall. Yeah. Yes. Test sneaky. Beautiful. Send the rest. Boom, boom, boom. Invis spell. Place it perfectly. Yeah. Down it goes. Let's go. Town hall out of the way. We got the CC pool as well. Queen charge starts on the bottom side of the base. I kind of wish he would have started the queen charge a little bit earlier. This could... Have time issues now. She snipes the headhunters. That's beautiful. Now she can snipe the lava dog and work on that. It only takes like 10 and a half years, but eventually she'll get through it. And the lava pups as well. Now let's hope she walks to the right here. <clears throat> we got another sneaky to funnel on the left. I'm still a little worried. What if she somehow steps left for the archer tower instead of right for the wizard? Eh, she should go to the right, right? There was the last healer. You forgot to drop it earlier, but no need to fear. The last healer is here. There we go with the log launcher. Was that too early though? Well, last time they did a log launcher attack, they used it too late. So I guess this works out better. Log's gonna bust open the walls. King to go in for the eagle artillery. Okay, dokie. Log, log launcher is also gonna take out the multi. No, not quite. Got some ice golems in there. Queen gets the eagle artillery. She should go in where the ice golems are afterward. One of the healers switched off to the king. That's kind of unfortunate, but actually it might be some decent value. Rage up the queen. King pops his ability. You got a king charge on the outside of the base. Royal champion in between the two. She'll get the left side multi. And oh my buttons, dude. <laughs> you better be ready to pop that warden ability. Ah! Ah! Ooh! It was late. But the scatter goes down. What about the wizard tower? Do we have a plan for that? We got a free spell. We don't have any more loons. Bro, the healer switches to the RC. It's an RC charge. But she dies. Invis the queen. Because I guess the single was locked on her. Rage the minions. Can they get through the wizard? Yeah. 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 Oh, they do. Hopefully no red bombs, dude. Please. No red bombs. Queen's still alive in the core of the base. She's stuck on skellies. Oh, uh, she's going to take the jump. She'll be able to go get the scatter and the royal champion on the left side with her ability. Oh, but the minions are all dead. <coughs> Rip. Single target in front of tower finds the grand warden says, get over here. And down he goes. Now it's going to kill all the healers. The scatter drops. Queen's losing healers fast. Her unicorn is dead as well. We get the storage and now she's beating what possibly might just be the worst wall in the game. She's only going to be able to reach two Teslas and that's it. But the two Teslas might even kill her. Big oofing. I think we're going to fall short here at about uh, 80%. Less than that. There's nothing his sneakies can grab. It's going to be a 78 or a 77. Rip. The queen didn't even get the Tesla. Oh my gosh. It's going to be a 76. 
Nice try to Eve Maxi, but the door is now wide open for Klaus and Stars to take the lead, depending on what Stars does in their next attack. Stars is in with 10 bats and 19 rocket loons. Yes! What's he gonna do? Three ice golems as well. Seven wizards. A wall wrecker. Oh my goodness. Okie dokie. Come on, stars. Is what you gonna do? It takes almost a full 30 seconds to come up with this plan here. Early wall wrecker through the cannon, but there's a Tesla. It's gonna do a little bit of damage to his wall wrecker. He's basically doing a early blimp for the town hall, but he's like, dude, let me just bring a wall wrecker instead for the LOLs. But the gold storage, ooh, the gold storage is actually super annoying. Ooh. Ooh. Tell me it gets there. Come on. Hopefully, no tornado. Hopefully no tornado. Mm. Ah. There. Eh. Sneakies. Yeah. Yeah. Woo. Safe. Down it goes. We got the CC pool as well. We're going to drag it over to 9 o'clock. This is taking a lot of time, dude. Time is the issue in a lot of these attacks. What's next, bro? We're wasting even more time. There goes a balloon. There goes a poison. Baby Dragon, there's three headhunters to worry about. Now only two. Baby Dragon gets absolutely clapped. Queen's dropped. Oh, bro. Queen. Oh, she's so low. Unicorn's got to get her back up. Ice Golem out in front to tank. Okay. Literally only a minute and 50 left to go. He's used up a lot of time so far. Oh, my gosh. Queen's not even going to go inside, is she? Star. Oh, she does, bro. That's a nice queen right there. King and Ice Golem on the right side of the base, but he finds a Tesla farm over there. Send a couple rocket loons to help assist. Sure, sure, sure. Queen did indeed get the scatter. She might grab the Builder Hut as well. We pop that King ability. He's with the Ice Golem. He's going to take out the Inferno Tower and the Royal Champion. We're going to send our Royal Champion from the top. A couple of rocket loons and normal loons just sprinkled in all over the place. Okie dokie. Invis the RC. She needs to get the multi at least. What's next? We got an Ice Golem for the bats. It's just a big rocket loon bat attack. How are we going to kill the Royal Champion, though? He's got a Grand Warden still to use as well. Is the Grand Warden going to go with the loons or with the bats? He's trying to snipe all the wizard towers and the eagle with the rocket loons. Bro, he's going to use a Grand Warden with bats. There goes the Ice Golem for the wizard tower. He's going to split up the bats in two different waves. Rocket Loon, the left side wizard tower. Where are we going to use the Grand Warden, dude? He's trying to swag him. I am Confucian. Bro, use the Grand Warden with the bats, please. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's trying to swag a warden. No way, this is actually going to work, though. Hello? Hello? All the defenses are dead! Bro, who needs a Grand Warden? Not stars! Does he have time for cleanup? The queen is dead! The best air defense in the game is still alive. 18 seconds. The bats are so slow on storages though, dude. 12, 11. He sends the Grand Warden for the for the gold storage. He's gonna time fail though, cause storages are LOL. Oh my gosh, stars, you dirty dog. Three, two, one. We swag the Warden. And it's a 98% rip. Exocyst is in with the next attack. Coming in with a little queen charge. Pekkas and Yeti and Witches. Is this just a pretty classic Pekka smash? I think so. I think so. Boring! Now, let's see if he can do it. Queen's gonna walk to the left from 6 o'clock. We got another wall breaker over at 9 o'clock. Okie dokie. Queen should step inside. Go in for the X-Bow. She won't be able to reach the Eagle Artillery. We'll see what he has in plan for that. Oh! He sends the P.E.K.K.A.s in by themselves. Log Launcher the Queen. Yo, what the? Are they just funnel P.E.K.K.A.s to take out a multi? He's gonna invest the freeze. He's lucky there's no Skelly Trap there. If there was a Skelly Trap there, this would not have worked. But down goes the multi. That was kind of neat. Log Launcher does give Queen access to the Eagle. Does she path to the core though? She might just walk down for the storage. Ooh, the Invis. To redirect Queen back up. Hello, CC troops. Queen, take out the scatter. No, she switches targets. Rip. Did the poison grab the air skellies? It did. Ice Golem and King with Ground Warden. 
from the bottom side of the base. Okay. Queen pops the lava dog. Here come the witches from the left side of the base. Those might have been too early. In fact, I think they were. Queen, we got a rage rep again. She'll take the scatter, continue making her way into the core. These witches are going to get out in front, and they're probably going to die to the scatter. I question the value of those witches. Another wall break to help King get access to the multi on the right. We're going to use the Royal Champion. All three heroes over there are working together. Pop that warden ability. Keep them alive through the multi and any traps that are over there. Queen taking five ever to get to the core. The witches got like one building before they died. Rip. Single target in front of tower is going to start locking onto his heroes. We might need to invest some freezes over there. There goes another rage for the queen. Keep that RC alive with the free spell. We do indeed. Rage spell on the queen to keep her alive. She's going to get the scatter on the left. Some Teslas as well. We're going to end up finishing on the town hall, but that's okay. We still have the RC ability. We're going to rage the RC and the king. Hello, tornado trap. Everybody going to be doing the disco dance over here together. Oh, yeah. Make them invisible so the king can stay alive. Never mind. The king goes down. Ripperoni his face. RC gets the town hall. She's going to get absolutely hammered by that giga poison, dude. Rip. She goes down. Queen pops her ability. Teslas are being a little annoying. We got a Yeti on the back end. Yeti might, might help out. The balloon can hopefully take out the cannon. Queen needs to get the wizard tower before the balloon dies. Oh. 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 Who wins that fight? Oh. Balloon OP. Down goes the wizard tower. It's, we got 97%. Don't you dare be another time fill. Queen is beating the worst wall imaginable. She won't be able to reach the other gold storage. Now she goes around. She's like, wait a second. I need to hit this wall. Oh my gosh. It's another 99. No! The man, the myth, the legend, Klaus is in again with 150 Barch troops. What? Bro, with nine hogs, 12 sneakies, five zaps and a quake. He's about to try to barch the heck out of this base. Please tell me it works. Woo. This is about to get spicy. King over here with a wall breaker going in for the Archer Queen. Okay. With his ability, there goes a zap quake in the core. No skelly trap to stop the king. He should be able to clear most of that compartment. Bro, Klaus, what are you doing? Klaus. Klaus. What are you what are you doing? Use the rest of the zaps. Oh! My anxiety. I thought the builder was going to go repair the Inferno Tower for a second. Okay. Inferno Tower goes down. Triple Ice Golem CC comes out. He's going to have to deal with that. Sure. Archer at 6 o'clock. We're going to pull the Triple Ice Golem down. Oh, we got another Archer over here as well. There was a Poison Spell. What are we going to use? We're going to use Barch to kill Ice Golems. <laughs> okay. Why not? They're going to stall. They're going to at least keep them sitting there for a while. RC is in from the bottom side of the base. Queen to walk from like seven to the left. Sure. The barge to kill the ice golems is actually super effective. Ground warden with the queen. Golem is in. Wall break. Barch is making its way in from the left side of the base. RC is going to grab the scatter shot. Queen is tanking the scatter, which actually works out in this situation because she should get healed back up by the unicorn. I like it. There's a giant bomb. Luckily, the golem pops the double giant bomb. We're going to pop that warden ability. Just keep all these barge troops alive through the eagle, through some of the traps, through the multi targety inferno tower. We might have to freeze it up here unless he just wants to let the barge troops die. RC's in the core. Now she's going to make her way to the left. We're trying to sneaky the town hall at the same time. He's multitasking. He's multitasking. We still have a siege barracks. We still have nine hogs. There goes the RC ability. Queen is at full health again. Still trying to sneaky that town hall. Their storage is in the way. We got the jump spell to help the queen. We switch to a log launcher to take out the scatter shot. Here come the sneakies for the town hall. We got five more and an invis. Oh no, Klaus. Oh no, Klaus! He sent them the wrong way! It tornado trap! The town hall stays up! Queen has her ability, but she's not going there. Oh! Oh! Pop the ability. Down goes the real warden. Queen! She gets the town hall. Let's go. Oh, no. We got hogs. We got Barch. Bro, tell me he recovers. 32 seconds, and there's buildings in the core. It's going to be another time, Phil. Rip. Here come all the hogs. The wizard tower needs to drop. Queen is dodging the giga poison like a boss. Down goes the bomb tower. Down goes the X bow. We got barbs trying to break through a wall, but I don't know if they're going to get there in time. 
<clears throat> Queen can reach the gold storage. 13 seconds to go. All the defenses are dead. Down goes the gold storage. Don't you dare be another 99. Come on, hogs. Just two swings. Three, two, one. Yes! Klaus just barched Tribe Gaming's base. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maxi is in with the next attack. Coming in with a little queen charge. Nine ice golems, dude. Zaps for a scatter shot. The queen, the grand warden statue, and the builder hut. Okay, some nice zap value. Queen charge with nine ice golems. Dude, that is a lot. Yeti to take out the mortar. Is he going to be able to grab the cannon as well? Sneaky Goblin in behind. Yes, the cannon goes down. <clears throat> okay, I think the Yeti got the value we needed. Couple balloons for some mortars. Start the queen up at 1030. <clears throat> With the ground warden. <clears throat> and lots of ice golems. It's not going to be a queen charge. Is it going to be a royal champion charge later? Maybe. Headhunter to help us get through that enemy king. Sure. Ice golems all over the place to pop and freeze everything up. One Valkyrie on the top side. We actually used both Valkyries already. Here come the CC troops. Eagle locks onto our queen. Yo, what the? I have to pop the warden ability or something here? No, we're good. That was a little awkward. Lots of ice golems, dude. Just a tank for the Sui. King is in on the outside. I think we're going to be doing a royal champion charge here somewhere. Poison spell to help deal with the pups. He's got a log launcher currently activated. And there it goes from the one o'clock side of the base with just ice golems everywhere for the big Sui push. Wowzers. He's going to rely on the queen to get that town hall. Balloons. RC healers. It is an RC charge for the left side of the base. She's responsible for everything on the left down to the town hall. And she should be able to get all of that unless all of his healers die somehow. Log launcher is going to get queen all the way there. Please, one more log. Does that get it open? Yes, Queen has access to the whole base, but she's kind of pathing the wrong way. Uh-oh, we still have that warden ability. Luckily, he brought a jump spell. Royal Champion on the left is going to grab the multi. Okie dokie. Jump spell gives us access to everything. We're going to rage up the Royal Champion. We're going to freeze for her to kill the enemy Royal Champion. She's doing great on the left side of the base. we got a wizard over there to help. Pop that warden ability. Queen is very low on HP. She still has the unicorn to try and get her back up, though. Ooh, without any more spells, the queen's gonna have to pop her ability. Tell me she goes for the town hall. She goes for the wizard tower first. We're losing healers. RC has to pop her ability. Get the town hall. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. It drops. RC dies. Queen gets the expo. We got yetis on the bottom side of the base. The warden is tanked. The yeti mites can kill the archer tower. The queen gets a sweeper. Clean up headhunter for the clan castle. Only 18 seconds to go. Please don't tell me he time fails. Please don't in the storage be a 99. Oh my goodness gracious. No. The queen died to giant bombs. Five seconds to go. It's another time fail for Tribe Gaming. Oh my gosh. 97%. Stars is in. With two healers. 68 archers. Oh, he should have brought one more. 28 barbs. Bro, he's got a big barch portion of the attack. A hound? What the heck's the hound for? 13 sneaky goblins? Six bat spells? Hello? Stars? Oh, it's a blizz? No. He's only got two invis. It's got to be just a hound with a yeti bomb. Right? Boom. Yep. It's a hound with a yeti bomb. They absolutely demolish that enemy queen. Get the scatter shot as well. Pull the CC troops. They clear the expo in that compartment. That's neat. We're trying to sneaky that town hall. There goes one more just to make sure all the traps are set off, and they are. Here go the rest of the sneakies, sir. Maybe, potentially, possibly. No. Nope. Okay, we'll just worry about that later. Queen from three o'clock. She can snipe these headhunters. Beautiful. Then she can deal with the lava dog. We could drop the poison and sneaky the town hall. Yes. There go the sneakies. There goes the invis. Perfect. Town hall will drop. Queen with the poison spell to take out the lava pups. Okie dokie. What's next? We want queen to walk up from 3 o'clock, it looks like. Sure. 
How's he gonna deal with all those multis in the core? It's just a two healer queen walk here. Only two healers. We're gonna double break. Sure. Queen's gonna keep walking up and around. Hopefully we don't lose any of these healers. Might need to invest those Coco Loons just to make sure you don't lose any of those healers. Because you only have two. He's not using Coco Loons though, dude. He's ballsy. King walks up just like he's supposed to. Queen will go in. Ground Warden with the King. Barch troops to funnel. Can pop this King ability. Still not using Coco Loons, dude. He's brave. As soon as Queen grabs the Scatter, we can wall break her in for the core. <gasps> yes, we pop that Warden ability. Boom, wall break, wall break, wall break. Yes, stars, you dirty dog. Where's the freeze? We're gonna invis, but we missed the queen! Bro! Bro! Oh! She's still alive. Luckily. Gonna have to pop her ability. Down goes the first multi. King taking the Ego Artillery. We're gonna rage the double healers. He's so... I don't know if we call it lucky or what. Oh, I was gonna say! He's lucky he hasn't hit any Seeking Air Mines, but there's one. Only one healer left, but she gets everything I think she needed to. Ice Golem tanks the Wizard Tower. Bats are in. RC gets the left side wizard. Pops the ability. She's going to get the other wizard. There's no more splash. Stars. You dirty dog. That was such an OP plan. The last ice golem is swag. Barch troops for cleanup. 30 seconds to go. The base is crushed. Holy crap. That was awesome. Wow. Swag freeze. 20 seconds to spare. It's a three star. All day long for stars. Exocyst is in with the final attack for tribe. Coming in with the five healer, one pecker, two golems, two yetis, six wizards, four wall breakers. Let's see what he's gonna do. Starting with the golems and a wall wrecker and a ground warden and queen on the right. Hello? Balloons? Yetis on the left? Bro, he's just sending everything right away. How far does he expect that wall record to get? Early warden ability. What the? Queen's gonna walk to the right. Charge in for the eagle. There's the wall break. Pekka at 3 o'clock to funnel for her. CC troops come out. The headhunters are gonna gun it for the enemy queen. So we're gonna invest the poison over there. Over here, we don't have anything that could target the lava dog. He's got more yetis there. Are they going to be able to grab the left side multi with the Yeti Mites? I sure hope so. It looks like that was the plan. But I don't, they're not going to get it. Well, this is getting a little awkward now. Both multis stay up. Okay. This wall break, I'm not sure if that's what he wanted. Invis the queen. She's going to fight the enemy queen. That wall breaker did not do what he wanted. Oof. Oof. She, luckily, she locks onto the king before the hound. That's going to help out a ton. He has one more wall breaker. Oh, he's going to wall break over here? Send king for the town hall? Yeah. What's his plan for the core? I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> Minion to help out with the pups. Oh. Oof. Funneling is hard. Rip. Rip the homie. Needed a minion behind that cannon. The cannon doesn't drop. Queen won't be able to reach the multi. We're going to send RC to try and get the left multi. Oh, healer's in range of the other multi. Mm, this is getting super awkward now for Excosis. We're going to freeze in the core. He's trying to keep those healers alive, but Queen's just going to beat on a wall. Healer's going to die. King finds the tornado. Bro, the 2000 IQ tornado trap from Klaus. Oh, what a godly base. Pop that RC ability. King, do you get it? Do you get it? We lost all the healers. We freeze. We freeze. King and RC. Oh, barely get the town hall. Queen pops her ability and we're all out of troops. Rip. He gets the 69%. Teehee. It's 71. Dang it. Dang it. How much more can he get? One more minion in range of the Archer Tower. Ripperoni. Lassie's still alive. Gonna die to the Giga Juice of Death. But we are gonna be able to secure that 74%. I think he has enough time for 75 with the Archer down south. Nice try, but it's not going to cut it here. Klaus's base just built different, dude. And it is indeed going to fall short at 76, actually. We got the extra archer. Could just drop it there to speed things up a little bit. Yep, there it goes. Nice try to Exosis. Not going to be able to work out. They had three time fails, man. If you think about it, they could have won this match. 
if it wasn't for those three time fills, depending on how this last attack goes. The man, the myth, the legend, Klaus is in with 50 sneaky goblins. <laughs> three healers and six bats. Oh dear heavens. What is he gonna do with 50 sneaky goblins? What the? <laughs> Couple of sneakies on the outside to funnel. Sure. All over the place, bro. He's just gonna sneaky the whole base. We're obviously gonna sneaky the town hall. At least I sure hope so. Four sneakies in for the first storage. And down he goes. Can they pull some traps too? Oh, they pull a lot of traps. Four sneakies in for the other storage. Lots of Teslas. Lots of Skellies. Triple Ice Golem CC. All the traps should be pulled by the town hall. He's gonna send one more just to make sure. Nothing funny happens here. We're gonna sneaky that town hall. Drop the Invisor. Ooh, barely perfectly placed. Okay. Down goes the town hall. Woo! Lots of Teslas over there. We're gonna pull the troops down south. Sure. Balloon the Archer Tower. Does that go down? No, it doesn't. One more balloon just to make sure it goes down. That still might not go down. Klaus? Lol. Archer Tower OP. Queen to kill the Ice Golems. Oh my. Oh, Klaus, you're throwing. <laughs> he sends an archer. Oh, the archer! That's an OP archer. LOL. What's next? Ground Warden with the queen. Okay. <clears throat> what got locked onto by the eagle? The queen. Ooh, this is awkward. That eagle's actually going to do a lot of damage. Can the unicorn keep her alive through it? I don't think so. I'm going to have to use a spell or pop an ability or something. Oh, we got healers. I didn't even notice. I don't think that's the wall break he wanted, is it? I think he was trying to wall break into the eagle compartment. No, maybe I'm wrong. But we can't reach the eagle. What in the confusion is going on right now? Yeah, I don't think this is what he expected. Ooh, that warden ability only catches one headhunter, not all three. We're going to invis the queen. Ooh, that enemy queen did not go down. Rip the headhunters. The balloons get wrecked, bro. The eagle stays up. This is looking rough for Klaus. King on the top side for the scatter. We had to pop the queen ability. Ice golems in our log launcher. He used a bunch of wall breakers on the right. Who knows why? Royal champion in from the top right. I guess so sneakies can get the gold storage. Bro, we need that loot. Klaus needs to upgrade <clears throat> some stuff on his base. Queen doesn't have an ability, but luckily nothing's shooting her right now. King pops his ability. Bat bomb the right side scatter. Yo. Yo. The eagle locks on to bats? What? But it misses? What? Okay. RC didn't get the multi though. Oh, it's on one HP. Oh, rip. The king's gonna go finish it off. Queen goes down, bro. That was uh that was interesting. That was creative. Grand Warden with two healers. Can he outshoot everything? Can we call this a time fill? LOL. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> nice try to Klaus. It's going to fall short at 84%. Let's check out the stats in this match. That was an awesome creative match. It's going to be a victory for Klaus and stars. 12 stars to 10. 93.6% to 89.6.